Hello, YouTubers. I hope you enjoyed my show today. Today's actually the tier tier list for for December, the sixth of December, twenty twenty one. Yes. Um, but there's a to guess next week, so we can sort of predict what's gonna happen. Now we haven't got Soul Soul on here because this one's not updated. This one somehow. So if Soul Soul was here, it'd be probably tier one or tier or tier zero. Okay. I'll probably put it here. That's me. Okay. First, what's on the list first? Cyber Dragons. Cyber Dragons are what I class as rogue. They got good matchups against a lot of decks still. Um, I have not seen some of the matchups yet. I don't know about the Soul Soul matchup, but Tribal Gate, imagine it's good. For literally, Tribal Gate can just link away the main monsters and stuff. Um, Phantom Knights might be a bit tricky, but I imagine that would be a pretty good matchup too. There's quite a lot of interesting sort of matchups. Drytron's it's excellent because it's just machine. So, so Side Guns is got it's good against pretty much everything. It's And at the moment, there's two versions of Cyber Dragons. Around. There's Cyber Dragon or Cyber Dark Cyber Dragon. So, so it really depends what version, what variant of Cyber Dragons you want to play. Okay, which is cool. Yep. Next one is Salmon and Greet. Salmon and Greet are tier two at the moment. Not doing very much Salmon and Greet. Not doing very much. I can tell you that now. It's a shame because they. But it is pretty hard this format, I do admit, it is pretty hard. When you get so so, it's pretty hard that matchup for salads, yeah. And when you're against uh Fat Tonight it's be quite hard too and 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 Lulu's Tri Brigade is a quite a difficult matchup to say at least. So and those decks can be quite annoying to play against, yes. So I think it really depends. Again, I think Sand needs the format kind of now that they're the format, then they, you can sort of play with it. Yeah, because that's how Sand would play. Okay. Next are Nenista. Nenista are the same option as as Sand and Great. Maybe a bit better because they're more of a combo deck. And this is a very good combo deck. It's doing quite well at the moment. It's it's got some good options at the moment. It's a very good deck still. It's got a good match against everything and it's a combo deck, so it's very easy to learn, very easy to adapt to every single format, which is good, which is a good thing for decks, yeah, which is good. Yep, yeah, which is cool, which is handy for this deck, which is handy, yep. Yeah. Next is Guru Control. Uh, we haven't seen Guru very much this format again. The the drag the the uh, there's only been one list dragoon recently and it's dragoon um hero dragoon which is not really a hero deck it's just playing the fusion destiny and just playing a, a guru deck which is fine but quite boring yeah it's not great to say at least which is unfortunately but that's just Ah, um, Mermaids! It's the same. I haven't seen Mermaids for a while, even though there's always more support and stuff coming out next couple of sets and stuff. Just Mermaids have not been a season very well. They're very, they're good, but I don't think they're there. That's the issue. Mermaids are a good deck, yeah. Okay, Drytron. Drytron is still one of the best decks. It's still good against everything. Drytron. Yeah. I haven't seen the Soul Soul Drytron matchup yet. I don't know what that matchup's like yet, so I haven't seen that one yet. But I can imagine it's pretty good against most decks. Once the once Drytron gets going, it's really hard to stop it. That's the thing with Drytron. It's one of those decks, once it gets going, it's really hard to stop. Yep. So that's what makes it so good and so powerful. Yep. Fantonite. Fantonites are here. They're really hard to play against. Their boards are absolutely broken. It's really hard to play with them against them. It's really annoying because you want they just set up really easily. Yep. 
and you have to do things so early and I had to face on quite a lot of my locals so which is a bit of a shame but hey ho these things happen but the um they but they they're really hard. I had to face two Phantom Knights at, my, at the locals in Northampton at the weekend. There was 48 man locals. Yes, that is a thing. 48 man locals. It was 5,000. Yep. Next is Prank Kids. Prank Kids are going down here. For... Prank Kids have not done very much. When Minyanya went to one, I was like freaking. Ugh. It was going to be really hard for Prank Kids to do very well, I reckon. I think it was going to be very hard and very difficult for the deck to do very much I did I did so I thought it was going to be really hard for the deck to try and do something yeah because you have to try and keep me now and now in your deck or in your ex trying to keep shopping back to your ex deck or you're not going to be able to use it yeah which is a shame and um, Sky Striker same as uh, I'll put them here not too much sub with Sky Strikers. The best Sky Striker variant at the moment is with the Dragoon engine. We're not, we're not with with the Destiny Hero engine, and not and that's it. Really, not much has really changed for the few for the, for Sky Strikers. They just add the Fusion Destiny, and that's fine. So, I guess now they kind of know what the format is and stuff, which is cool, which is good. Some versions are playing part of Duarte, so not part of Duarte, part of. A, and stuff so the quality and stuff next is math max math max are there math max are synchro link spam sort of deck they kind of like cyber sick it's good it's good fun it's good otk deck you can win in otk you can otk consistently you probably will end up going first and do it probably when you got when you play this deck you end up going second then you win the first game because no one knows how to, what to do against you. Then, then you go second, and then you full go first. Yep. I've played against a few times. It's a pretty confident deck. I have not seen it for a while, so I would not be able to tell you how good the deck is at the moment. Dragon Link. They've gone down a bit. Dragon Link. It's not the same with Striker One and and well MP, but it's still pretty good. It's still got. Still pretty good combo deck, still pretty confident what he wants to do. The issue at the moment is with Jack and Link is the match the the, the match is just much better and it's just power, been power creep because the balance just hit it quite hard. Which is a shame, yeah. A shame. Evil twins, go there. Evil twins are really good this format. They just got a new link four, which is really good. Which has fixed a lot of the problems with 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 uh with Evil Twins, yep, now they've just got a big bomb monster they can go into and make it really easy. That can be can be pure, it could be uh, uh another it could be other variants, you could do it with evil chain, I mean it with, with with unchained, you can do it with um with outleach, there's all sorts really you can do it with, which is cool, which is good. It's really good, really good deck, it's really fun to play Evil Twin, yep. Great Marju, Great Marju are here. Just OTK deck, quite simple. It's fun to just do one punch kill sometimes. So that's what's quite good about Grand Marju. Grand Marju, you will get a few wins, I reckon, but you won't you won't win at all, but you will get a few nice wins, which is cool, which is good. Adolce, Adolce is always about here. Always a good rogue option. People don't know how to play against it. And it's really annoying to play against because when it goes second, it really annoys. And even when it goes first, it's really good. And it used to be you're forced to go first because the dog shit couldn't do very much, but now you can actually now they can do quite a bit of dog shit. It's quite fun and quite a quite a fun deck to play a dog shit. I always think Pendulum, yeah, Pendulum can't do very much. I know there was a list from from Tris, but Tris was a local, so. So Pendulum's not gonna do forty this month this format, which is a shame. Hey, um, one um, I know they got some new support coming in Dimension Force, but that's a while away. That's a while away. Yeah. Fluffles, they're not doing too much. OTK, yes, they can OTK very easy and very powerful deck. The problem is the moment is it's not consistent enough to do enough, which is a shame. Yep. Yeah. Zombies, zombies are there. 
Yeah, they're good zombies, don't get me wrong. I think zombie can do well most times, but I think it's a good deck. Heck, I don't think it's compared enough with stuff. Um, Ultra Ghost go there. They've got, just got some new support in... In Battles of Legend. They've just got Pukuri, the Link 4, and Flippity what? Flippity Gana, whatever it's called. Which is cool, nice support. Pukuri is what they need, the Link 4 is pretty good too, so you can make all that. You can make Hicks can go in first, which is really cool, really handy, which is good. Yeah. But it's still the same, which goes still just the same, but you can just do things from the internet. Dino, dinos are always here. The good combo deck, really nice. Again, this depends what variant of dinos you can do. You can go OTK, you can go combo, you can go scrap version of dinos. There's all sorts, which is cool, which is good, it, which is really nice. Yep. Yeah. World are still here. The Virtual World down here at the moment. They're not doing too much, but still the same Virtual World. Not much has really changed. Just haven't done very much recently. There was a virtual soul soul list recently, so maybe that's the best player to play with it. But it's a bit of a strange player. Trains down here. Yep, OTK still the same. Yep, still the same. Very powerful. Very OTK. A little force them to go first. True Draco the same. Not much has really changed for True Draco. Yep, unfortunately not much. We got a new one. Brandon's. Go here. They're good. You mix them with other decks like Dog Manica, Sudols, uh, Basil Fallen sort of decks. They they're good. They're good fun. There's a new structure deck coming out with them soon. So there's there's also it's quite a fun deck. It's it can be competitive to I'm trying to do it competitive, which is cool, which is good. Uh, a fair gnome knight down here, fortunately. Just doing the same as always. Good compare, good competitive deck, but good good combo deck, but not doing too much in the moment, which is a shame. Um, Magical Master Tears, not doing too much. Just the same old deck. It's not doing too much, which is a shame, which is cool. Burn Bits are not really in the format at the moment, so there will be Rogue. Which is a shame because Ben is a really fun and really powerful deck, which is cool. Uh, Invoke, really good, really cool, really good deck, which is good. Yeah, just doing the same. There's some playing with the Destiny here engine, but not too much change. Buster Blair down here because there's not really a dragon deck for the deck to worry about at the moment, so which is a shame. Tribe Gates are up here. Yep, with Lua Lua's, depending on what well, other band you're playing too, they're still really good, really cool. Neck Cross, Neck Cross are sort of here at the moment, I would say, or down here. Yep. Neck Cross have got really good matchups, but the problem is they're not consistent enough. Yep. Frogs, the same sort of options, really good back row heavy deck, and if it's just not consistent enough. Outleach, they're doing quite well at the moment. But it's still the same sort of builds, trap heavy and and stuff. Not really varying in the moment, so this one's just a fun deck. So plant link and um, plant um Zelda, which is just like a plant sort of deck, which you start with normal ones and you basically make the link one. You get your search, you bring back the normal one, you you gain life points and stuff, then then you special summon another link. Yep, and stuff like that. heroes. Heroes are up here. Heroes are up here with the new support with Phoenix of Forza. It's been really popular heroes, which is cool, which is nice. And still really good and really powerful. Still OTK can still go first. Do really well. But there seems to some Phoenix Force of going first quite a lot of time, which is quite cool. Oh. The last one is Alamanza Painter. Yep. Which we've been doing quite well with. I like the deck, it's been good fun. It's got a good match against most things, and once the deck gets going, it's really hard to stop. So, yeah, it's got a good match against everything. Soul Soul's not too bad. And Phantom Knights are pretty good. And the hardest one is obviously is a little loose tribe brigade, but that's most decks is hardest match. Okay, okay, that looks like the that looks like the tier list. That's what's gonna happen. That's what I think will happen. The YCS. I think it'll be something like that. Soul Soul will be here. Soul Soul will be there. Okay. 
Let's imagine ourselves there somehow. I know. No. Okay. I hope we. Okay. This is what I think might happen. The YCS. I think this will probably happen. The next YCS next week. Yep. Okay. That look. That's what the tier list looks like. So Fat Snides and 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 Tri Brigade are the two best decks. I think. And then it'll go Drytron, Evil Twin, Invode, Hero, Alamance Player, Nanista, Dragon Link, Verge World, Art Leagues, and in Tier 2s, we're looking at Salads, Prank Kid, Sky Striker, Dulce, Ultra Ghost, Dinos, Branson, Infernites, then Cyber Dragon, Guru. Mermaids might make appearance. Meg Megs might make appearance. One good one. Grand Margie might make appearance. Um, Pension will do. Fluffles might. Zombie might. Trains might. True Draco. Mag Magical Musketeers. Um, Burnabist might. Buster Blader. Necros. Um, hit, uh, frogs and. Still okay. I hope you enjoy. We're about to show today. The Sky from Watch All. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'm Sky Rock. Yeah, I'm my old Irish. Didn't do too well at Northampton local at the weekend. Yes, I had a week off, so I can play there. It was a 48 man locals, which is mad. Yeah, so to play five rounds league, that's what made it crazy. So, always all right. Gradients went really well. Grains went really well at the weekend. Everyone passed, apart from one, okay? And then, just back to normal this week, okay? I hope you enjoy. We're about to show today. Subscribe and watch on. See you all next time. Good luck, everyone, at the YCS, okay? Peace, everyone. Good luck at the YCS. See you all. Bye bye.